blister beetles are not alone in using couriers to take their offspring to food. The young of this bot fly, here in Brazil, feed on the blood and tissues of living cows. But how is a female to get them there? She is a big insect, so big that cows would notice if she landed on them and would probably flick her off. She needs a lightweight courier. A housefly, a fraction of her weight, that would do nicely. She drops down to stalk it. She got it. She manipulates the housefly into the right position. And now, one by one, she glues her eggs onto the housefly's abdomen. Within a few seconds, the housefly has been coated by about 30 cream-colored eggs. The botfly releases its hapless messenger. The housefly seems well aware that it's carrying an extra load, but it can't get rid of it. So it goes back to its normal business, which includes visiting cows to drink their sweat. A small fly, unlike the lumbering bot fly, is no real irritation and is able to feed largely unhindered. The fly mops up the sweat with its pad-shaped mouthparts, but as it feeds, so the warmth of the cow's body causes the botfly's eggs to hatch. The larvae are armed with tiny hooks which help them to get a grip on a cow's skin and bore into it. So, in a few minutes, a cow can acquire a dozen botfly larvae feeding away beneath its skin. Licking won't get rid of them now. A couple of months later, the full-grown larvae emerge and drop to the ground. There they will burrow into the soil, pupate and turn into adults. <laughs> 